The Denver Nuggets dominate game one of the NBA Finals. Final score, 104 to 93. Game was pretty much under control in the fourth quarter. Denver Nuggets came to play. The long nine-day layover that they had of rest did not affect them. They did not look rusty at all. The Denver Nuggets were just so much sharper tonight than the Miami Heat. 104 to 93. Denver leads the series 1-0. I know it's early. But Denver never looked looked really, really good. One thing, if you checked out my live stream from last night, I did an NBA Finals preview. Go ahead and check it out. It's up my YouTube, Rumble, and everywhere else. One thing I said that one of the key factors for this game is going to be containing Nikola Jokic and as well as which supporting cast for each team is going to step up tonight. Without a shadow of a doubt, it was the Denver Nuggets supporting cast Came out big. And let's start. Nikola Jokic had himself a quiet triple-double. 27 points, 14 assists, 10 rebounds. I mean, he's this guy was inserting himself in the first quarter. Only had like two points. Had like seven assists. Just masterfully painting that canvas and hitting his teammates off. And, which one of those was Jamal Murray, who had a huge first half. Who finished with 26 points. He was just hitting every team. And it's beautiful to watch this guy pass. And set up his teammates, man. Aaron Gordon had himself a monster first quarter. 12 points. Was a man amongst boys. Uh, Six rebounds. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., 14 points. Had himself 13 rebounds. Two block shots. Again, the athleticism and the length of the Denver Nuggets were too much tonight for the Miami Heat. Which is one of the things that I knew was going to be a problem. Because remember, the Nuggets, not only can they help defend... They're big and they're athletic, and they showed it tonight again, especially Michael Porter Jr., who had himself 13 boards, shot up a lot of threes again, only hit two, but however, it was a game that the Nuggets had under control the entire game. Off the bench, notable mention, Bruce Bowen had himself 10 points in 21 minutes, but the supporting cast came to play tonight, and they were the big difference of the game. The... And it was a pretty pretty even matchup. I mean, look, the Heat hit 13 threes and the Nuggets only hit eight. The difference of the game was that the Nuggets were hitting, you know, were scoring more often. Uh, they, they, they they shot it a little bit better than the Heat. Uh, they shot a 50% from the field. They shot a lot better from the Heat, while the Heat shot 40 from the field. Even though the Heat shot 33% from beyond the arc, the Nuggets 29. It wasn't it wasn't really a difference. The, the rebounding battle was 45 to 43. So that was that was something right there. The uh, from the from the line, the Nuggets had 16 made free throws. The Heat uh, really struggled; only had two free throws. That was a big, huge part of them. The Nuggets were getting to the baskets; they were getting fouled, and they were getting to the line. So the free throw was a huge differential of the game. Overall, the Nuggets looked like they belong, and the Heat looked like a really gas team. Which you don't blame a man. Only on two days rest after a grueling seven-game series for the Heat. Going to my city of Mile High, brother, in Denver, it's hard, man. Dealing with the already tired and exhaustion from a long series to the altitude, it's tough to match, man, without getting your bearings. Regards to the Heat, man, look, uh, Jimmy Butler did not show up. He was very, very gun-shy today. Seven rebounds, seven assists, 13 points. Remember what I said if you listened to my live stream yesterday. Jimmy needs to be playoff Jimmy every single night. Bam Adebayo did his part. I said, Pam, Bam Adebayo is going to be key to this series. And he did 26 points, 13 rebounds. Usually they win when Bam scored 20 plus points. Not tonight because Jimmy disappeared into thin, thin air. Gabe Vincent keeping a solid, his solid uh, campaign here. 19 points, went 5 for 10 from beyond the arc from 3. But that's it. Highsmith off the bench had a surprising 18 points in Kyle Lowry. Duncan Robinson really disappeared, who's been, who's been shooting the ball well, only went one for five from three. And uh, Struz, man, Struz had zero points in 21 minutes, 0 for 10 from the field, 0 for 9 from beyond the arc. Again, the Heat, even though hit more threes, could not, did not get to the line enough, were not as aggressive, nearly as aggressive as the Denver Nuggets. Uh, look, it was a it was convincing victory because, you know, the Nuggets in the fourth quarter pretty much were up by 17. They had some good runs. I mean, look, They pretty much won the first quarter, 29 to 20, then 30 to 22 in the second quarter, 
25 to 21 that's when the heat made and then, and then of course miami won the fourth quarter that's when they cut it short when they were down by like 19. at the end of the day the never nuggets looked more prepared and their superstars and bam i mean and um and nicola jokic and uh jamal murray came to play and their supporting cast the surrounding teammates were better than the miami heats tonight bottom line we don't have to draw this out game two is on sunday one thing I could say, even though the Heat did not look as sharp as they looked in the past, this is the first game one they lose in the entire playoff, an entire postseason. Remember, they won every single game one up to this point. It could be a sign, could be you know a sign of change, but I think the Heat, without Jimmy having a Jimmy-like game because he needs to score more than 13 points, if they have a repeat of this. I think it's going to be a competitive series. I still say I still say Nuggets in six. All right, game one. I still say Nuggets in six, but the Nuggets were the better team tonight. And uh, shout out to Nikola Jokic, another triple double. The man is a it's a artist. All right, with his brush and his passing ability, rebounding, overall basketball IQ is his canvas. Thank you for listening, your boy Eman from the Average Joe with your post game reactions for game one of the NBA Finals. Heats, Nuggets, Nuggets 1-0. Peace. Here I am, here I am. Good. Well, how are you today, sir? Very well, I say, sir. Run away, run away.